here's what there is some doubt about with some people. This is not such a wide debate, but it certainly is worth kicking around. Is Georgia the outright one, or is it 1A, 1B, given everything Michigan's done this year? Georgia beat – was Tennessee one when Georgia beat them? No, they couldn't be. Georgia was one. What was Tennessee rank? Was that one, two? I think it was one and three. Okay. They beat a third-ranked Tennessee team hot now, hot, at home. Good win, big win, beat them up. Michigan goes on the road into Ohio State and demolishes Ohio State. Mm-hmm. Arguably, that's the biggest win of the season. Arguably. I mean, there's some other ones that are like more heartfelt. Man, this is the first time in 88 years or whatever. I'm talking to this other season. Now, body of work and everything else and more consistency. But Georgia has had some like 12 rounders that got ugly and they figured their way to get out of them. Is it like beyond debate to ask why Michigan couldn't also be number one? Uh, here, I'll answer that first. Um, I don't think it's even a question. Um, you have them at one. If they come out against an LSU team that's obviously gettable, and we saw head against a pitiful Texas A&M team the, a week before, and it's a close game, now I think there's a discussion. But you put up 50-plus points. Yeah. You, yeah. you absolutely control the game from start to finish. You do exactly what you're supposed to do on a big stage, and you've got – reigning national champion under your belt you've got you know you mentioned the Tennessee game all, all of those different things you, you it's just not a discussion not taking anything away from what Michigan has been able to accomplish but in that scenario Georgia's my clear cut number one yeah I mean I don't I don't think Georgia's lost in the regular season since like October of 2020 I think is what it is it's just ridiculous and and I I mean you look at them this year, and and there we talk about how they don't have any flaws. I I don't know George that I see like I don't know that I see any cracks anywhere. That's Enjoy, the problem. Yeah, yep. the problem is 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 offensively they have enough in the running game to hurt you. Stetson makes big plays in big games. They've got a tight end who's going to be a mismatch for everybody. Then on defense, they literally just play too high every game, and they say we can get you with four. We don't care. We'll get you with our four. We'll we'll blitz one or two every once in a while. But for the most part, we're going to play too high and we're going to kill you. And that's what they do. They just bludgeon you. That is, that's the most impressive thing about Georgia to me is graduating eight draft picks on defense, five yeah. first rounders, and it's that next guy up mentality. I think that is more of a tip of the cap to Kirby Smart and the culture at Georgia that they've created than anything else. Because that is unheard of to sit, to be talking about Georgia's defense the way that we are. And most of those guys, a majority of that defense was not a starter last season. Right. I think it's absolutely commendable. Not only that, here's another, here's a great number for you, Trevor. They lost 15 guys to the draft. They lost 13 more to the portal. 28 wow. guys. That's 32% of their scholarship players they lost. That's, wow. Think and right that. back. Think right about back. that, man. 32 uh, players scholarship players they lost. I did not know that. That's unbelievable. Here's the killer part. Vegas uh, has Georgia four and a half point favorites at a neutral set against Michigan. The next closest team they see against Georgia, Ohio State, five and a half point favorites against the Buckeyes. Moving on, let's go into this Michigan game. Uh, the Wolverines, man, they got in. They took care of business as we thought they would took them a little bit of time, but then just like those two big old race horses coming down the back stretch, the better one pulls away Michigan 43, 22 over a Purdue team that was game, but obviously is going through a lot. They take care of business.